Hey guys, Sony Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Now, I've been just trying to record uh, this particular cigar uh, in a smaller camera, and we're, we're trying something different today. So, uh, I didn't have the opening done correctly, but what we're smoking today is the Jake Wyatt Cigar Company 4th Dimension, and um, it's provided by JB. Very interesting cigar, so I recorded a B-roll. So let's go straight to the B-roll. Okay, so here we're trying something a little bit different. And I'm saying a little bit different because it's, um, I'm using a different camera to show you the cigar here, okay? So here is the Jake Wyatt 4th Dimension Toro. Wrapper is Habano Rosado. Finders Dominican fillers, uh, Dominican as well. And see if I can get this to focus up. Yeah, nope. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. So, here's it. There is a little bit of glued on candela band here. The cigar itself is very textured, almost matte. And there's a QR code on the side. Very interesting cigar. I just haven't figured out how to properly show everything on here. But I'll eventually figure it out. This is just uh, kind of a testing today. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Zoom in just a little bit. And get you the look of the band. There we go. So yeah, still on the testing phase. Try to figure out how I'm gonna use the second camera as a function to show more of the cigars to you. It has better color, so it looks like it will translate the color of the cigar way better. Okay. All right. So we're back to the studio. Okay. Now, because I kind of screwed up, we don't have the footage for cut and light. But let me kind of summarize what's going on. Okay. The cigar itself, it does not have a lot of smell. It has a little bit of that dry tea bag smell to it. Cold dry gives me woodsiness, pepper, and... Um, Damp mustiness a little bit, and, and, and that's pretty much it. Just kind of some, some basic woodsiness. Once I light it up, smoke through that one third. Now, the, the strain is about medium plus. Okay. And it gets this uh, peppery, um, sweet ish, sour woodsiness. And now it's getting me a little bit ooh, of um, portobello mushroom-ish uh, fermented taste and uh, a little bit of pepper and the woodsiness. But it, it, it did not have the complexity that I, that I thought it's going to have. That first little bit has a little bit of that taped Candela, it doesn't do anything other than uh, I think give a little bit of bitterness. But first there was not very interesting. Uh, it, I, it feels like it's prepared for all the flavor. And now it's took another puff. It 
kind of went with a little bit of fermentiness. Fermentiness. Yeah, it kind of tastes like mushroom. What the hell? So, yeah, that's the one third. I'll be right back for the second third. All right, now, second third. Now, when it gets to second third, it's actually closer to the full strength now. But all I got really is just woodsiness, floral, and a little bit of sweetness. And that's all I got. Like, there is a little bit of pepper here and there, but it's mostly floral. Mostly floral. And like, you know, even if I slow down, it's still floral. I speed up, still floral. It's just floral. And I, I'm still trying to understand what the fourth dimension of this is. Because fourth dimension is time. And this thing burns hella fast. So <laughs> that's 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 one thing he doesn't have. Time! You know, this thing goes really quick. So I don't know. So I'm in the last third now. Let's let's take a look at the band. Okay. Like that. Now I looked at it. The um, the older version was just just all black and it's just lettering. They kind of changed it, so now it's um, kind of textured. Actually, can you, can you see that textured? A uh, little bit shiny, black and uh, white gold lettering. Um, cigar. I I mean I think you now for a niche cigar brand. So you kind of have to like that sci-fi feel thing to kind of get the, the 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 terms and things that they try to talk about. It's not too bad, but I don't know if I can get to twelve dollars. I'm at about a eight dollar range cigar for this right now. Cause I don't I don't I, I didn't think that the the flavors particularly pungent were particularly amazing, but it's a cigar. I mean, uh, I was smoking it and Eric's like, "How's that cigar?" It's like, I'm kind of indifferent. It's like, it's not like I hate it, but I don't like it all that much either. He's like, all right, well, you're really indifferent about it. I said, yeah, it's kind of like normal cigars. Like, you know, if you have it in your hand, you smoke it, you'll totally be fine with it. And this is one of those cigars it feels like. It's it's smokable cigar, but it's, it's floral, but it's not floral enough for you to hate it, right? But it's not, it's not pungent enough for you to like it. It's like that. So that's what I have right now. I'm gonna finish last stir. I don't think I'll be getting these little taped green anyway. So finish last stir and we'll be right back. All right, last stir. So basically last stir had a lot of like steam and blank spots. And then once in a while it goes back to the woodsy floral and then comes back. It, it didn't improve. And, and, and I think that it's safe to say this stays in the $8 range cigar, $8 range cigars. Now, it's, again, it's not bad cigar, it's not a good cigar, it's just a smokable cigar. That's all I can call this. It's, I don't hate it, but I'm not amazed by it. All right, so if you like floral and you don't want to pay a lot of money, that's probably it. But I can see that there's a lot of other cigars that are probably better than this at that price range. I just came up, come, come up with one because I personally don't like a lot of floral. Like a lot of Avo will have that kind of flavor, but not necessarily. Uh, well, actually, they're about the same price range. So $8 is as, as high as I can get on this one. But either way, big thanks to JB uh, sending me the cigar because I wouldn't have otherwise tried any of the Jack, uh, Jake Wyatt because it's it's not even on my radar. I don't I don't even know anything about them. So pretty cool cigar to try. Uh, they do have the decoration, but like I say, it's like a niche product. Like, you have to be somewhat of sci-fi lover to really kind of get the, the theme behind this. Without it, you don't. And I think that that's one of the problems. They try to go with the theme. And, and I really think that with Cigar, if you don't go with the heritage theme, you don't go with the history and stuff like that, there's, there's not much to go with, right? So $8 Cigar. And I will still recommend to try them just because they're kind of cool, you know? So. That will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, support the channel, comment, and and, and um, you know share. Consider joining the membership. Get the T-shirt. That's pretty much it. And um, you know I'll see you guys in the next one. But again, uh, I'm working on improving uh, the footage. 
bite watch get a better view of the cigar better look at the cigar color correction all that stuff stay tuned more to come all right see you guys next one bye guys